Hey there, we're going to do a quick video that shows how to install the new Fruto Technology current sensor. So this device is for your GP Start kit where you don't want to modify the wand and would prefer to use a stock HasLab Spangler series or 1984 wand, but still make use of the electronics in your pack and have that run everything else. So what I have here is a Spirit full-size pack. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the jumper cables with the positive on the left and we're gonna connect that to the pack five volt. What this will give us is power that we can connect to the wand power output. So the same yellow port here connects to the yellow port that's labeled for your wand. So that provides power. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take another one of these jumper cables and we're gonna plug it into the I2C bus or I squared C bus. That connection is going to go on your pack down to one of the serial ports. So if you recall, there is a serial one connection which is used for an attenuator or a wireless device. Well, there's a blue port right next to it that is labeled for I2C use. Basically, it's just gonna have uh, labels SDA and SCL. We're gonna plug into that. <clears throat> so this is going to go to my wand to supply power. And so that's gonna plug in right there. So basically we have power coming in, power going out, and then we have this little breakout board that's gonna communicate back to the pack controller, and it's going to tell us how much power is being consumed. This is the same process that HasLab used uh, to make their equipment work, and so we are working on the same principle as the stock HasLab equipment. So let me show you what that looks like on the other end with the wand. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at things outside the pack. And what I have here is a standard 1984 style HasLab wand. This is completely stock. There, I haven't even drilled out the holes to remove the bottom of this thing. The only thing I have done is thanks to Right Coast Creative, uh, I was able to print a adapter a power rail that fits inside of the wand handle non-destructively and it screws in at the end and all it's doing is providing power and only power. Uh, at the end, instead of just bare wires, I use the same type of Nutrit connector that we use on the GP Star kit. So we just have power. That's, that's the important part. And what we're gonna do is just power on the wand normally. And there we go, powering on the wand, powered on the pack. Now, if we fire a stream, hopefully you heard that, but the pack is firing. And we also have the ability to, you know, you can turn off the power here, so I'm at full stream. So firing on the wand, of course, fires the pack. And if we do this in reverse and just power down at the wand. And there we go. Now the pack is powering down because it's registered, no power is being drawn. And thus it knows that the wand has been deactivated. And there you go. There's how to connect a stock wand to your GP Star kit in a pack and have everything work exactly as intended.